The Power of Vibration Greetings, we are the Arcturian Council, and we are pleased to connect with you all. We have taken the necessary steps on our end to help facilitate a knowing within you, a knowing of your true power. We have been telling you how powerful you are, and we have been indicating to you that your powers come from within you. We want very much for you to absorb that information, because we are excited to see each and every one of you accessing that power, so that you can rise up and ascend in a way that you intended to in this lifetime. The ascension journey starts within each and every one of you, and you demonstrate your power to yourself, to the collective, and to this universe by accessing it within you. What you have access to grants you power is your ability to focus and activate through that focus a unique vibration. The truth of your power is that it has always existed within you, and that you have always had access to it. However, you have been taught that your power comes from your mind, your actions, the amount of money you have in your bank account, number of people of you are working for you, and many other false idols. The power that you seek in these objects, people, and circumstances is fleeting at best. External power will always leave you wanting more, and it can leave you completely. And then what will you do? Hopefully, eventually, you'll all come to the realization that your power is your ability to access a vibration. Everything that you want to experience, you want because of the vibration you associate that experience with. But you don't have to wait for anything or anyone or any circumstance in order to feel those vibrations rippling through you. Those vibrations that you seek are a part of the totality of who you are. You are source energy beings, and source energy is all vibration. You, as conscious beings, get to choose which of those vibrations you activate, thereby empowering yourself to experience whatever you want to experience right here and right now. No waiting for an outside manifestation to occur is necessary. Get your confirmation from how you feel. The Minefield of Ascension You have released so much in this one lifetime that it's hard for you to imagine at times that you could still have more releasing and clearing and processing to do. It must seem like there is a bottomless pit of trauma and lower frequency emotions to move through. We see some of you struggling very hard to maintain a sense of sanity through it all and have any semblance of a desire to continue through the minefield of stuck energy that we see so many of you traversing and merely surviving. We want to assure you that it will come to an end. You will get to a place where you will look back upon the minefield and you will feel proud. You will know the pride of having made it through the most challenging times in your life. You will also gain clarity from having had these experiences. You will have had the clarity of discernment that you will know how to access the vibration with ease because of all that you have felt on this journey in this lifetime. From the highest perspective, you are allowing yourself an opportunity to feel things that you could not otherwise feel. You could not possibly access the pit of despair from the 12th dimension or from the source energy perspective. But you can where you are. And there is something about having that experience that is absolutely thrilling to you on the highest level of your being in this. And if you can bring some of that to the proceeding as you process through that energy and those experiences, it will assist you immensely. It will be supportive of that journey to bring this awareness to those very challenging moments. We also want you to consider how much faster you can move through something now because of the energies, because of all that you've already been through, and because of how much you've learned along the way. You are much more adept at traversing the minefield now than you were just a few years ago, and you will continue to get better and better as you move forward on this very challenging ascension experience. Past Lives and Integration when you are faced with something in your life that you find more than just upsetting, you are looking directly at something from one of your past lives that you are still carrying with you because you need to experience some healing, some release, some resolution, and some clearing around that particular circumstance. You are not blank slates when you are born into the physical body. You have with you at that moment of birth an agenda and many different aspects that are seeking some sort of resolution or redemption. You often come in contact with those aspects of you through the traumatic experience of your current life. You are always giving yourselves the opportunity to release that which is no longer serving you, that which has been a burden on you for quite some time, and this lifetime is the one where you'll continue to give yourself these opportunities until you are willing to face a situation that's more than just a little upsetting. The reality that you experience is always giving you what you need, and it is giving you what you need based upon where it is that you want to go in your personal evolution. The end result of all of it is going to be a happier you, a more creative you, and a lighter you. So now, no matter what you are facing, no matter what you are in the midst of clearing right now, it is a wonderful opportunity for you to do more than just lighten your load in this lifetime. 
You are also here in service to all those other aspects of you in all those other lifetimes that could use a little help, that could use some compassion, that could certainly use some unconditional love. This journey of yours is one elaborate plan dreamt up by your oversoul to give you the best possible opportunity to experience and to feel everything. You are doing magnificent work just by living your lives, just by facing those things that you would rather not have to deal with or look at. And if you ask these past life aspects of yourself for help, you will get it. If you see yourself as a team, a collective, a collaboration, you are going to empower yourself. You are going to bring forward more strength than you knew you had, and you're going to quicken your integration experience. Knowing and Experiencing It has come to our attention that you are seeking knowledge over experience, and we want to encourage you to seek experience over knowledge. Now we witness many of you seeking answers, seeking to know about the past and the future. We see you wanting to understand what star system you are from, and we want to enlighten you to something that will serve you very well. You are now here to experience all of it, and sometimes it requires you not to know certain things. We want you to understand that there is a great deal to be gained from having an experience that you did not expect to have. Therefore, knowing the future doesn't actually serve you. If it did, you would know it. Sometimes it does serve you to know something that is coming, and you get a premonition, or you have a dream, or your intuition kicks in and you are able to make a choice, a choice to experience something else, something that does serve you. Now, when you are facing the unknown, when you have absolutely no idea about what is coming your way, there is a greater likelihood that you are going to feel something. And that is the purpose of experience, after all. Having an experience helps you to access a feeling state. Accessing a feeling state helps you to identify a vibration. When you are able to identify a vibration and remember the experience that you had, you are then able to create using vibration, and that helps you select from a vast array of experiences that are in front of you. Now, that doesn't mean that once you master offering vibrations that you're going to know everything that's coming, because that still won't serve you. What it does mean is that you get an idea first of what type of experience you'd like to have, and what those experiences feel like, how they vibrate, and with that information you can choose your vibration wisely. But all these hinges on your being willing to have experiences, to access emotions, and to tune into the vibrations underneath those emotions. So let go of your need to know, and certainly let go of your need to know about what is coming. It is far more important that you tune in to what you are feeling, and it is far more important that you allow yourselves to have all sorts of experiences, especially the unexpected ones. Your frequency. Your frequency matters. Your frequency, the rate at which you vibrate the energy of your consciousness, becomes your life experience. It is as simple as that. However, you have to look to think a lot about and a lot to do, and you certainly have a lot to process emotionally. All of that leaves you with very little of your precious time to tend to your frequency. You would be very well served by giving it your attention at least periodically throughout your day. It would be advantageous to you to have reminders for yourself to check in and feel how high or low that frequency is. You can tell by what you are feeling, but you can also tell by what you are thinking or even what you are doing. Certainly your physical bodies are wonderful feedback mechanisms. If there is something going on with you physically, then there is certainly something going on with your frequency-wise. There is always some underlying vibrational cause to what you are experiencing in the physical. So if you pay attention to what you are doing, what you are thinking, what you are saying, and how you are feeling physically and emotionally, you will become aware of your vibration. Once you become aware of it, the next part is to tune into it, to zero in on it. You do that by going within. Pay attention to where you feel particular vibrations. Pay attention because it serves you to, and because by giving it your attention, you automatically shift it. You automatically shift the frequency of your vibration by intending to do so, and by focusing on it, you awaken yourself. You are in a constant state of awakening now. The easiest way for you to experience an awakening is to feel into your energetic body. Your energetic bodies don't just surround you. They can also be accessed within your physical frame, your physical structure. And giving them your attention, giving your physical and energetic and your emotional bodies your attention, is all it takes to raise your frequency. The Conscious Creation of Self you are taking the idea of struggle to new heights when you look at something in your life that is not the way you would like it to be, and you simply ask that thing to change. We know that you are all aware of the fact that you are creator beings, and therefore you might wonder why you shouldn't be able to change the situation you are in with your abilities. 
However, the reality that you experience is not the part that needs changing. It is you. You are the ones who must change if you want to see something outside of you reflecting that. And therefore, conscious creation of yourself and your experience of reality is the path of ease. It is the path that you must be on if you are going to shift. Everything around you is going to reflect the shift in consciousness that takes place within you as an individual. The way that you experience something is easy to shift. You just have to look at it from another angle, from another perspective. You just have to see it as perfect and as serving you. You must allow yourselves to be triggered by the situations and circumstances that you do not like, and then, as you feel what it is that the judgment within you is creating, you can notice how what you are feeling is a match to what you are experiencing in the outer reality. Changing yourself takes place on the level of vibration. You all think it is all about willpower. You think it's about changing what you do, what you think and what you say, but it is about changing what you vibrate. And vibration is something that you access within you. It is not something you change. It is something you tune into. So we recommend tuning yourself to the vibration of the self that you want to be in this world and then notice how the world around you begins to match that vibration. And know once for all that you are in fact the conscious creator of your reality. But more importantly, you are the conscious creator of yourself. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you.